<laughs> Guys, look at this. Look at this picture. <laughs> new hair on the mob browser in game. There is new hair on the mob browser in game. What was there? Colored punch cut. Yeah, it's not quite my look. I went on Mod IO this morning and I saw some new maps. I got them downloaded right now. Two new spins maps. Yeah, this is this is really nice looking. Oh man, that's crazy. The ground's all bumpy and crooked. I love like the uneven ground because you can, you can pump it without pushing. Ah, uh, yeah, guys. You see, Brawl Unit partnered up or got hired by the guy making that next skateboarding game. Zeller. Boris the Cheater and Brawl Unit are working with him now. It's just funny how, like, they, you know, started making maps in Skater XL, then all of a sudden they get picked up by a different studio. XL's losing their best map creators, man. Don't be long until they're all gone. Gotta hire somebody. Wow. Oh. Damn, Kai. This is a cool map. This is really nice. Lots of ledges. Handrail there. Ooh. Oh my. Half cab backsmith. I just missed a lock in. 50. Ah, uh, just didn't lock it in perfectly. Switch flip front blunt. Oh, nice. Oh, that's ugly. Oh, front side flip 5-0. Oh. Oh, my head. Kick flip front people tray. Woo. That was ugly. There we go. That was sexy. Oh. But just want to backsmith it. Oh, oh, <laughs> reminder to check your posture and drink water. Hey, okay, I will. Thank you. Oh, look at this rail, dude. That, has somebody hit this? That is crazy. What? Baby. Oh. This is a really good map. I like this a lot. Just gotta escape this thing.
mods this game is lame yeah it's true but you know what i bought this game when it had no mods i love this game when it had no mods it, it's the, the the fact that we have mods makes the vanilla experience seem terrible which it is it's not as good as the mods but you know i didn't fall in love with the mods i fell in love with the game the controls i fell in love with the vanilla gameplay it's unfortunate that we have like something to compare it to now because back then we didn't have nothing to compare it to but I'm still in the boat that Vanilla is still the best game available. It's still better than Session. It's still better than Skate 3. It's still better than Tony Hawk Pro Skater. In my opinion. You're allowed to have your own opinions, but that's mine. It's still the best. Which is unfortunate because, you know, we all want the game to be better. Back then, when the game had no features, no mods, it had the same feeling as this new Zeller game on, on Twitter. New people getting hired for the studio. People are hyped for it. They want to see what's going to come from it and stuff. That's the same feeling that we're having right now with this new game. So what I hear from from console players a lot, like, I don't think we'll ever get mods on console guys, unfortunately. But what I'm saying is, I think we'd all be much happier if we didn't have mods. <laughs> if there was nothing to compare it to. If we, if we still went back to the past with zero mods and we, we just had vanilla and everybody's on vanilla, nothing to compare it to, nobody's left out, we'd all be happy. But the fact that people are left out of the, the community because of mods makes them upset. I really wish like these features got to the game though. There's there's two problems here. The studio doesn't add these features. Like that's the main problem because we, we could have these features in the game. The second problem is mo uh, consoles never have mods in the first place. So it's a good thing to get modded maps, modded clothing, but it does leave out half the community or more. At least Skater XL, they try to bring accessibility to console by having a mod browser. So at least they have a way to get PC content onto console, but it's still very limited in terms, in terms of what they can do. You can't do script mods. You can do clothing and stuff and maps, but it's still very limited. In a perfect world though, like PCs would just be cheap. Consoles would not be, you know, a closed ecosystem. Developers would listen to their player base. I wish all these things could exist, but they just simply don't right now. <laughs> But even that, the dual stick inherently is hard to play for any player. So session or skater excel, dual stick is really tough for casual players, no matter what systems they have built into the game. You know what they should do this game, honestly, and I like I I'd be down. Add stat menu as a DLC. If, if you need it to be that like make money, like just add it for five dollars, dude. Same way that I had to pay five bucks for the filmer pass, skate two or whatever. Almost everybody's already bought this game. They can't really just add a feature and sell more copies because of that, but they can sell us that have the game more features. I don't like DLCs. I, I don't like that. I I'd rather have it like in the game, but it's already too late for that at this point. We're, we're so spoiled with games and it's about to get even worse. Trust me. I think it's still, still worth it. Even though it is it's the most priciest game in the market right now. Uh, if you look back two years ago, three years ago, when there was nothing to play, it's much better than that those times. <laughs>